I've run out of trams in the UK, so time to go international. So, Dublin's trams. The system in Dublin is called Lewis, Irish for speed, and was originally envisioned in the 1980s in homage to the old Dublin tramways, much like those back in Great Britain. The old Dublin tramways originated in the 1870s and 80s under several companies, but by the dawn of the new century they have mostly been amalgamated into the Dublin United Transport Company, operating trams to most of the city and providing easy transit around the city, though much like most tramways they fell out of use and by the 1950s and 60s most of the tramways had been replaced in an around Dublin. Lewis was originally suggested a Dublin transportation report. Following this report, the Irish state owned, yeah I'm not even going to attempt that, CIA was asked to look at the proposals, to which they did and came back suggesting that the system should be built over two phases. Phase 1 from Tally to Dundrum slash Bally via the city centre and Phase 2 from Ballymun to the city centre and Dundrum slash Bally to Sandyford. The Transport Act then created the legal framework for the system to be constructed. Some suggested possibly an underground system and an inquiry was started, but it never got anywhere and by 1998 the government had decided that two tram lines would be built, one from Tallaght to Connolly and the other from Sandyford to Dublin Airport. Funding for this system came from the Irish government and a grant from the European Development Fund, with the lines being constructed by Antando and MVA of Australia being contracted to build the lines, with the operating contract going to Connex, which is now called Transdev Island. But before the construction even began, the section to the airport was cut in favour of a metro system, called Metrolink. A lot of places like to call their transport systems Metrolink, don't they? The two lines then opened respectively on the 30th of June 2004 for the Green Line and the Red Line on the 26th of September also in 2004. Soon after this expansion to the network began, opening in 2009 with an expected investment of 90 million euros, the Dockland Line extended the Red Line east of the docks from Connolly to the Point Station. Shortly after this, another extension west from the Red Line terminus at Belgrade was built to Sagat and then opened in 2011. Also around the same time, the Green Line was also extended south from Sandyford to Bryce again. In 2011, the government announced that it would support the connection of the Red and Green Lines in the city centre, running from the old Green Line terminus and St Stephen's Green to Broombridge, opening in 2017. At the moment, the only proposals on the table are Lewis Finglas that would see an extension of the Green Line from Broombridge to the Charles Sound Shopping Centre and Line 2B, another extension of the Green Line, this time further south to Fasero and Bray. The Lewis network uses 76 different variants of the Alstrom Sitaris trams, similar to those found in Nottingham. And that's the Lewis tram slash light rail system in Dublin. Thanks ever so much for watching.